speed of human response in addition to the speed of how fast technology is changing. Would you agree? In other words, the success of us moving forward as leaders and in our businesses and collaborating and strategic alliances is based on each individual of us in this room and how we're able to be rapidly adapting to the realities around us. That means downloading a new superhuman operating system. It means our ability to have less time for conflict, more time for creativity and innovation. As we transform through change, it is each of you in this room, your individual ability to adapt, morph, move with, and lead in times of intense change. Power of We 1KP, it really speaks to what we're talking about with change transformation, which is none of us in this room would be where we are without the help of others. Everything we do in our work and in our lives is about connection. And, and getting results through people. I've seen many keynote addresses in my time, and Cheryl Cran's keynote stood out as being timely, relevant, high value, and extremely entertaining. If you're looking for a leading edge keynote speaker, you'll miss an incredible opportunity if you don't hire Cheryl Cran. She is renowned in leadership, change management, transformation. In fact, she says, you know, we're in the period of transformation and we're all transformers. And we're talking leading change in a fast-paced, technological and multi-generational workplace. When I'm talking about leading change, exactly what I'm saying is we're not waiting for the change to happen. We're not reacting to change. We, as leaders of mastery in the digital age, are saying we're going to lead the change. This is where this is so powerful from a change and speed and agility standpoint as I'm talking about with you this morning because the leaders today that have the ability to both sense the appropriateness of when to push or when to give is the power. That's what we're talking about here. It's not always pushing our way. It's about looking through the lens of how is this valuable to the person I'm working with. So everything's changing rapidly. So how do we as humans keep up to that pace of that change? Because I predict the 2020 workplace is gonna look very different than it looks now. It's gonna be even faster than what it is now. So what does that mean we need to do as individuals? It means we need to rewire, we need to download some new software in order to function with this new reality. And rewiring includes our emotional capacity. How do we react to other people? Do we see them as enemy or do we see them as frenemy or do we see them as collaborator? Are we competitive with the people we work with or are we cooperative? What are the things we're doing in order to match the speed of which things are happening? There's a new normal. Pivot skills are needed. We cannot continue to use the skills we're using today to make it to a 2020 workplace. If you look at some of the elements of the new superhuman operating system, multi-generational morpher, what that means is we are not in boxes. Just because you're a Zoomer by age, you could be a Zoomer and, and be more like a Gen Y. You could be a Gen Y and be more like a Zoomer. You could be a Gen X and be more like a traditionalist. So there's no rules about our age, but what it means is we all have to be multi-generational -gener morphers. That means I'm in front of a Gen Y, I need to adapt myself to a Gen Y. I'm in front of a Gen X, I adapt to the Gen X. I'm in front of a Zoomer, I adapt. And having that ability to do that speedily in order to get those relationships happening with less conflict. We frankly don't have time today to spend time on personality clashes, ego clashes, uh, conflicts amongst people. We must be seeing each other as collaborators. We must be seeing each other as allies and we must be supporting the success of each other for the 2020 workplace. That is the direction we're going. So fast, tech fluent, synergy, always looking for creative solution that engages everybody.